this millions of dollars worth of stolen jewelry taken from an armored truck. That truck was on its way to the Pasadena Jewelry and Gem Show. Tonight, KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen is live in Pasadena. And Jeff, he spoke with one of those victims who lost everything. Indeed, and the victim is one of nearly 20. Some of the vendors say their entire life work is gone and they don't even know how it happened. It's all fine jewelry, uh, very high tag, and uh, they're just gone. This jeweler asked us not to share his name after he says he was the victim of an armored truck heist that included one-of-a-kind pieces like the necklace in this video. Necklace, you're looking at 18 karat yellow gold with the over 100 karat of natural multicolored sapphire. The high-end jewelry like this ring was last seen at a trade show at the San Mateo Event Center last weekend. Sunday night, merchandise belonging to 18 jewelers were loaded onto a Brinks truck destined for the Pasadena Convention Center. Sunday you had merchandise, today you don't have anything. The victims are part of the International Gem and Jewelry Show. The FBI confirms it's working with the L.A. County Sheriff's Department on the case, but the jewelers haven't been able to get a straight answer from Brinks. They're returning sometimes, they're returning your calls, but there's no information. The trade show's manager says about two dozen lockers were stolen from the armored vehicle early Monday morning in northern L.A. County. The total loss, as much as $150 million. Some of the vendors have built their inventory over 40 years. It's their whole life. Some of these people are completely done at this point. This jeweler says he doesn't have a showroom. All of his business is done by traveling to trade shows one at a time. So this was much more than just merchandise. My life. My life. That's how I live. That's how I feed my kids. And we reached out to Brinks, but we were not able to get a hold of anyone at the armored truck company after business hours. We're live in Pasadena. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.